So now we're looking at multiplying two binomials, which you guys are used to, all right? It's still the FOIL technique. It's just that, um, well, now we got some radicals in this. All right, so let's look to multiply these. First, let's distribute the square root of 6. So I'd have the square root of 6 times 3 times the square root of 6. Then I'm going to distribute the, six, the square root of 6 to this square root of 2. So plus the square root of 6 times the square root of 2. And then I'll factor in this, uh, I'm sorry, multiply this negative 4 square root of 2 times the 3 square root of 6. So minus 4 square root of 2 times the 3 square root of 6. I need more space. That should do it. So you wouldn't do 12 then? You wouldn't say negative only on that tiny little step. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Either way, and then we're going to subtract 4 times the square root of 2 times that other square root of 2. Now, yeah, some, not everyone really needs all of this step right here. Maybe some of it even. Uh, but some people don't need any of it, and that's all right. So first, let's uh, look at this one. I'm just going to rearrange this. It's not working out very well. 3 times the square root of 6 times 6, which is 36. Then we're going to add the square root of 6 times 2 is 12. Then, yeah, on this one, we got 4 times 3 is 12. And then I've got the square root of 2 times 6 is 12, square root of 12. And then I'm going to subtract 4 times the square root of 2 times 2 is 4. So I did skip a step in this to get this next line. So you do multiply what's inside the So now, uh, well, let's just look at these. The square root of 36, and some of you guys saw this already. Uh, we had the pair of sixes up there. It's six. So right there, I've got three times six, plus the square, square root of 12, which would factor into the square root of two times two times three. And we'll come back to that. Then I've got minus 12, again, times, oh, I guess, I apologize. We, we could have combined those two terms if we wanted to because they were both times the square root of 12. I didn't, but you could have, all right? So it would be minus 11 times the That's correct, yeah. But again, I, I'm going to do that step here in a moment. Uh, that 12 <coughs> is going to give me 2 times 2 times 3. And then I've got 4 minus, the square root of 4 is 2. Okay. So now I've got 3 times 6, which is 18. And then I'm going to add, here I've got a pair of 2, so I've got 2, that's a plus, times the square root of 3, minus 12, times, here's another pair of 2s, so 12 times 2, times the square root of 3 remains, minus 4 times 2 is 8. So now I've got 18 plus 2 root 3 minus 12 times 2, which is 24, square root of 3, and minus 8. So I can combine these. Here I've got an 18 minus 8 which is 10. And then down here, I've got 2 root 3 minus 24 root 3, which would be minus uh, 22 square root of 3. And right there, that's our final answer.